Hello, and we're outside of the poly. Today's pretty crazy because it is Princess Week. What does Princess Week mean? Well, it means that I get to go around with y'all and share with you the crazy princess snacks that they made that are limited. Like, they do this all the time at Disney, which kind of stinks if you, like, you plan your trip and then they randomly have these fun holidays or things where they have exclusives. But today is all about exclusivity, uh, and we're gonna be trying the first thing over here, which is a Moana cake. But I wanna run you through the list of all the potential options and the things that I think that we're gonna try right now in this video. Let's check the list out. Okay, so we have Disney Parks Blogs, Foodie Guide to Princess Week. So if you're going to Cinderella's Royal Table, they have this uh, lost slipper, which they've already had for a while. A lot of this stuff they've had for a while, like the Friar's Nook Snow White Cone, which actually should be storybook treats. I don't know, what because they don't really do ice cream over there. That's interesting. Kringla has this Anna and Elsa sugar cookie with chocolate ganache. This is a delicious apricot cookie uh, with sugar and apricot jam but the only thing that they did different because you can get this at oasis sweet and sips all the time and it's awesome uh is that they added a little jasmine medallion same thing with the regal eagle smokehouse tiana banana pudding it's the same banana pudding you can get all the time but they put a little chocolate medallion sunshine seasons this is new it's the anna and elsa cupcake strawberry cupcake with strawberry filling strawberry buttercream with a chocolate crown Really cute, I like how it's the combination of both the sisters in the buttercream there. Enchanted Rose has existed for a while, dark chocolate black currant mousse, that's over at Hollywood Studios. The uh, Seaside Brownie, which I've had, it's a pretty fudgy brownie if you're into brownies, uh, and you can get that at Dockside Diner. That's that little steamboat over by Gertie and Echo Lake. This one looks so good. It's the Pocahontas Mousse, pineapple banana cake, coconut cream mousse with a chocolate feather and candy gem. I'm into that, definitely getting that on Wednesday. Uh, Amaretz has another petite cake. I think Amaretz is overrated and super expensive, but super adorable. They have a Snow White, uh, or not a Snow White, a Moana cone, coconut soft serve with a blend of strawberry. That sounds good, that's over at Typhoon Lagoon. This is a all day, every day mermaid cupcake at Art of Animation. Disney's uh, contemporary is doing a Cinderella cupcake, but this is not the same one that they used to do. The one that they used to do was pumpkin with pumpkin mousse. So this one's just vanilla with vanilla cream. I'm out, I'm out. Gasparilla, I didn't see this on the menu, uh, but it's vanilla sponge cake with pink buttercream ruffles, white nonpareils, looks pretty standard. The Big Mama Jamma, this is the thing I'm most excited for, which we're getting here over at Captain Cook's, is gonna be this Kona Island and Captain Cook's both has the Moana mini cake. Vanilla cake, mango mousse, wave of uh, <laughs> glissage, buttercream fondant, and white chocolate decor. And then the Tiana, this is the other one I really am looking for, wishing on stars, olive oil cake, banana cream pie mousse, white chocolate crunch, and more glissage, and then the Riv has an Aurora fruit tart and a True Love's Kiss, which is limeade, mango, and guava. Artist Palette has this Snow White cake with spice caramel apple. Whoa, that's, yeah. So of all the things I really wanna try, Moana, Tiana, Aurora, Snow White, and then Pocahontas are the, I think the top picks. I have had the Mermaid one, and a lot of these other ones you can get all the time. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get our Joffrey's coffee and our first treat, the Moana little mini cake. Well, we did make it. Uh, we're back later in the day. It's already almost 6.30 and at Kona Cafe, they didn't have them. But here at Captain Cook's, luckily, they did have the Moana cake. And let me tell you, for Princess Week, for gorgeous, gorgeous girl, the Moana cake takes the cake. Here, I feel like I need, if you're gonna do a princess. Let me get it a little bit further up. What is that? I don't know, I'm trying to find a thumbnail that's good. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like listening to Mr. Beast and attempting to be more interesting, but failing miserably. <laughs> All right. Let's cut that cake. And we found out that it is a mango mousse. So a vanilla cake with mango mousse 
Let's do the Heart of Tafiti, which looks like just white chocolate. Yep. There is some cream on the top here. It's a little hard coming right out of the freezer. That is white chocolate. I have some vanilla butter cream. Get out of here, B. Was that Ferris Bueller? All right, let's cut into this bad boy. Glissage. Mango. There's that delicious cross section. Looks like a lot of fondant, too. Hmm. Okay, hang on. There's like a crunch in there. There's like a crispy pearl crunch. But the mango is really kind of interesting. It is a mango mousse. Hmm. I like the texture of the pearls, the crunchy pearls in there. I wasn't expecting that. That was a delightful surprise. Um, hmm. It's sweet, it's delicious. Wish just a little bit more of the mango and less just like vanilla and buttercream, but let's give this thing another go. Yeah, too much vanilla, not enough mango. I'm gonna give it, for looks, this thing has all the show, not enough go. 2.9, and that's mainly for looks. Just sweet vanilla for cupcake. Gorgeous, though. Artisanal. Nothing looks better than this. Just nothing. It's gorgeous. Princess Week. We made it to Animal Kingdom, and we have to do only one roller coaster here for Everest, but roasters, we're actually gonna have a lot of different roaster things. We're gonna try the roasted corn over at Harambe. We are gonna get the roasted chicken at Flame Tree. And over here at Creature Comfort, somebody was like, dude, you know coffee's roasted. Who would've thought? So we're gonna- I want coffee anyways. And she wants coffee anyways. So let's go into Creature Comforts. Also, there is a Princess Week uh, cake. So we're gonna get the Princess Pocahontas cake, which I think has banana and maybe even coconut I in it. I think it's banana, pineapple, and coconut. It looks really cute. Uh, so I'm excited to try this one too. Let's go. I think we actually have to ask for it though. Yeah. So there, there is the Pocahontas mousse, pineapple, banana cake, coconut cream, cheese mousse with a chocolate feather and a gem. Adorable. So here's the mousse, the mousse on the loose, banana, coconut. Mousse on the loose. <laughs> Isn't that the ride you went on? Yes. In, uh, in Rochester? Months. Whoa. Oh wow, that's a Whoa. lot of frosting. That is, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like confetti cake on the bottom. I don't even know how all these flavors are gonna come out because, oh geez, of course I like. Why don't you take a small bite, Kurt? Oh, I'm spilling. I, okay. This is it. It's not that sweet. For something that's a, uh, that has banana, coconut, and what was the other thing? Pineapple? Yeah, I, and I don't really get the coconut. I, I do get the banana. I wish they didn't just... You wish there was something else going on here. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. It's no longer pretty, I'm, <laughs> I've ruined it. It's literally just, um, oh lord. It's literally just funfetti cake with icing. Uh-huh. So, I'll let you, uh, what do you think? What would you give it? Um, we do out of five here. Yeah. 2.6. I'm gonna go, I actually like the confetti cake a lot. I just, I do this, too, this doesn't have that much flavor. Like, I don't, I'm getting slight, very subtle banana, no coconut, a hint a of pineapple. The, the the bottom cake is actually nice and, and moist, surprisingly. But I gotta go, I gotta, it's adorable, really well crafted in terms of look and feel. But the Pocahontas, 1.7? Too much frosting. I'm okay with it if it was like layered, but it's I don't know. It's not good like... frosting either. It's like, it's mousse, it's not, but it's not mousse. Mousse on the loose. All right, coffee time. I got the salted caramel 
cold foam, sweet cold foam. Sorry, I'm the worst at ordering Starbucks. I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, it's pretty good. That's really good. Have you ever gotten this? Is that the salted caramel? Yeah. Yeah, it is very good. Mmm. Can you order, <laughs> such a dumb question, can you order like down to that line of cold foam? Because yes, just yes. like that cold foam, cold foam, the cold yeah. foam is so good. Oh uh, man, that's a great coffee. 4.2 for the roasters. What, how, I mean, this is your standard. This is my standard, so 4.9. It's the best oh, it's all, all day, every day. Here, explain what your standard is. How do you order your coffee? Um, it's a venti iced white mocha with blonde espresso. Sweet cream cold foam, and if I'm feeling rich, almond milk. But I wasn't today. It's, it's an extra the, 60 cents. It's that 60 cents life, you know? Yeah. You can't sometimes. All right, we have to go on Everest. We have to eat roasted corn. I like corn. I like corn. When I tried with butter, butter everything, everything changed. changed. So we got to get the corn. We're going to do that first. Then uh, we'll get chicken on the way out. We'll do yeah. corn, Everest, chicken. Sounds like plan. All right, we're still doing princesses, and we are over here at Port Orleans French Quarter with Sassagula, and this is the Wishing on Stars. Banana cream pie mousse, white chocolate, fella time crunch, olive oil cake, white chocolate ganache, 629. It looks pretty cool. I like that it's an olive oil cake. I've never, oh, so this thing is not gonna, all right, fine. You don't wanna, you don't wanna focus. You do you, boy. <laughs> this camera, ridiculous, all right. Let's pay for this thing, and then I gotta go get beignets, and then we'll uh, we'll hang out and do a review. You're lucky if you get a five. That's true. That's true. All right. So here is our banana and olive oil cake, which we had that really good olive oil cake at Dahlia. Dahlia. Right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you're like sipping. <laughs> And I know you're a big banana fan, so you can try this too. The mosaic is just going to be like a chocolate I am, piece. I'm a very big banana fan. Oh my gosh, so I, I got you. Hey, um, oh, you got spin. Oh, it's it's goopy. It's some, it's oh, it's goopy. Banana. This looks delicious. This Wait, looks this like really? How is that olive oil cake? I think it's like straight up it looks like goopy regular. mousse. No, it's not. No, that's bad. Oh no, that doesn't look that is good. not good. That's not good. Look my poor, nice my poor video. Tiana. Don't do this to her. Give her what she deserves. She doesn't deserve this. this she deserves good. a much better I'd eat dessert it than this. Wow. Well, you can eat it. Go, go it's for a it. Slime cookie situation. <laughs> Ellie, it's a slime cookie situation. Yeah, not bad. Gross. Um, it's bad, but it's not that bad. It's a slime cookie score. That's the. All right, I'm gonna go. We're digging there. I'm gonna go. Uh, not even one. This is like a point three. Oh, I would not. Yeah, this is this is bad. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. at it. Have at it. I have another um, unused yeah. fork too. I have another too. unused spoon. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you want to, you, you want to try it. We're spreading it around. <laughs> Ellie, me, Corey, JT, and Sawyer. Everybody loves their ears, so just point it out. Jelly bird. Yeah, that's definitely all the way to Hawaii for that. <laughs> yeah, not far. Well, Super easy. It's not that. good, but I'd it's eat it. Like, Corey, no. try it. No, absolutely. People are like, all right, trying that's it for Princess it. Treats Corey. because I was I was disappointed by all the Princess Treats, sadly. So, Kirk, Walrus Carp, Audi, bye.